This is my Ozone 500 Fragment 29 inch mountain bike. And today I took it out on its second uh, trail ride and I just wanted to do a little review of the bicycle and my experience so far with it. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. And just jump a little bit of salt here. And there we have a working backup light. Connect the solar charge controller to the battery. Firstly, I will go over some upgrades I've already made to it. And then I'll mention some upgrades I want to make in the future. And I'll have a link to every single one of these items in the description. So the first thing is this seat. I got this seat from Amazon. And it's a pretty simple... Uh, Amazon choice nothing very special about it so far. It's very comfortable very breathable and Quite cushy, so it's not it's not a very stiff seat Next thing is this light here that I also got from Amazon and it has three settings It has a bright a dim and a flash and it's pretty visible at night and you can also adjust it the tilt and it installs with this rubber band. There's a power button on this side and a Android plug charger on this side and it's waterproof. Next thing is the headlamp. This headlamp was a kit with the tail light so they came in a kit together and this one also has three modes. It has bright with the soft start dim and a flash. Uh, next thing is, this was not an upgrade. I already had this. It's a GoPro session mount. And this, I just took the camera off of there so it's charging. Next thing is this uh, phone mount, which I'm not a big fan of so far because it moves a lot. So no matter how much I tighten it, it still manages to tilt uh, a little bit. So. I'll figure out a way to make it a little more firm or I'll just replace it. So the next thing is this water bottle holder. Hey buddy, how's it going? Here's this water bottle holder that I also got from Amazon. Uh, very inexpensive and it installs with the existing bolts. So the only upgrade I can think of right now that I want to do in the future is a wider set of handlebars. Uh, just because this set here, I believe it's 24 inches, seems a little too narrow for me. I get a little bit of shoulder pain and uh, pain in my palms. So that's it for now. And uh, next I'm going to put a few clips of uh, me out on the trail. See how the bike is doing. Stay tuned.
okay? I'm on fourth, so let me bring it down at first. Yeah, this is a bit more, more expert. I'll give it a shot. I'll just watch my I didn't have the leg power for that one. More speed. Yeah, it looks pretty gnarly over there. This bad boy around. Know your limits, folks. Know your limits. Yeah, I would like to have gone a little further, but I'm alone. Does it look pretty nice out here? It's definitely for more experienced riders on this side. That other side looks a little smoother. Here's the setup. Got my Gatorade right there. New pedals are on. I got Onyx off road. And I'm wearing a helmet. So, I'm trying to do the right thing. I'm out here by myself. Whew. Quite, the, uh, quite the workout, though. Alright. I'm going to take a break. I'll start recording once I'm. get back in right now luckily it's it's pretty active right now there's plenty of people riding around so that's a good a good thing it's a good feeling of a sense of security
to continue on that way. Let's see. We could see. Oh, look at that. There's some deer over here. Wow. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. This looks like uh, two little, two babies. Not very old. I'm going to keep going. Try to get back to the truck. Before it gets dark. Well, at least I'm confident that uh, I know the way back. And it's not so treacherous. And yeah, all the deer, they took off already. Pause it again. Start recording in a little bit. Right, I'm gonna get going now. Make it back to the, to the truck. Yeah, this little bridge looks like it won't take me up that way. So here and this
Butter for 75. And then we'll just make the transfer.